Happy Monday, everyone. This is Carmen with Choose Joy with Carmen. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Arvada, Colorado. And today is August 9th, 2021. And I'm here to create um, a card for my Mo Joy Monday. And if you're not familiar with what that is, you can, um, I have a link in the description of the video that I did last week that launched off this Mo, Mo Joy Monday. So if you want to learn more about it and what it is, then um, go ahead and watch last week's video. But today we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's card. And I just wanted to let you know that all the um, dimensions and all that will be in the description. So if you want to recreate this card, you can. So let's go ahead and get started with this card. So again, um, I'm focusing August in August on the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, which is this stamp set, and it comes bundled with the punch that cuts out a few of the images. So, um, but <clears throat> I really like the um, called your. You're a peach uh, designer series paper. I really like this paper, and so I wanted to use it, um, even though I don't have the bundle that goes with this, but I think we can use other stamp sets. So I'm going to be using some of that paper as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start off with the Calypso Coral card base. Like I said, all the dimensions will be in the description. And this is going to be our matted piece. So we're going to add a little color to this by using the Versamark ink pad. And this, I'm going to use this stamp right here. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. And I'm going to put that in the upper kind of right hand corner of the card. So I'm just going to put that there. And then I want another section. I don't want to do it all over, but, and if you can tell, it's just a very faint, just a very faint image. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't want it really stark and bright. So now I'm going to ink this up again. And I'm going to Turn it around and I'm going to kind of put a little bit of the flower showing in this upper corner right here. And I'm not using the whole stamp, so I'm just going to put that there. And then that's all we're going to do as far as the Versamark ink goes on that. So I'll put that aside. And then let's go ahead and start putting this part together before we adhere it to the card base. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't think I have any more major stamping to do. Um, okay, so there's this, and I want to show you what I did. So there's this, um, it's called ombre, it's an ombre uh, glitter paper. And it comes like this. So if you've noticed, it, it'll start off light up here and it starts to get darker down here. Well, I didn't, I really wanted to focus on the light part. So I cut, um, I think this is three inches. I cut it from the top part and I'm gonna be using only this section of the card. So, um, and what I did was I cut two pieces from this at one inches. So we're gonna go ahead and then on the designer paper, I did this also, I think at one inch. So we've got two of the glitter and two of the designer paper. And I am going to, you know what? I'm gonna bring that paper back in because I'm gonna work off a little and I don't wanna get adhesive on my mat here. So I'm going to start off with the designer paper and I'm going to 
I'm going to take it a little off because I got a funny feeling that we're, we're going to, even though this is four inches and these are four inches, it never works out exactly. So I'm just going to take it off the page just a little, and then we can cut off the excess. So I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on the back of this and adhere this to this side over here. And lay that down like that. And then we're going to take a piece of the glitter, the ombre glitter look, and we're going to adhere that right next to that um, designer paper. There we go. And I'm going to take the next piece of designer paper and And here is that. Trying to get it even up there. And then my last piece of um, glitter paper. Okay. Okay, there we go. So then now, if there's any excess on the back, you could actually cut it off at this point, but I'm not, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to worry about it. There's a little bit here, but I think it'll be just fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach it. I think we're ready to attach it to the card base here. And I'm looking at the bottom. Mm, it looks a little uneven at the bottom, so I am going to snip off that that's some of that that's hanging over because I didn't notice it so much from the back but when you put it up against that card base I noticed it hanging off a little so okay that looks pretty good so gonna go ahead and adhere that <clears throat> and then we're going to I'm going to show you what images I used stamp wise for this card and if I can get a nice border around that okay and then we're going to take I have a strip of calypso coral and I'm going to go ahead and attach that right at the top of this so let's go ahead and do that and I'm going to I'm going to come over just a little bit on top of the paper and that just so it looks clean and even. Okay, see if I got that straight, or maybe my piece isn't cut so straight. Well, that's going to be all we're going to do with that. Okay, so now what I did was I took uh, the two images and I ended up using the smaller ones because I wanted to punch them out. These two over here don't have, um, it does not fit in the punch, so I'm using the two smaller ones. And what I did is I took a piece of uh, just a scrap of basic white and I took them. And you could, I don't know which way is easier for you. I tried both ways and um, I kind of liked, I don't, I think it was easier if I started with the outline and then stamped the inside. Um, I, I think I had a better chance of lining it up that way. So I'm going to go ahead and what I did is I just stamped the outline in the Calypso Coral on my scrap piece of basic white. And then I took the petal pink and did the inside, ink that up. And then I am trying to do this so that I don't get my head in the way, but it's hard. Then I just put that right over there. 
and see, I think I, I am better off lining it up that way, but you can do it whichever works best for you. So I did three of them and I'm only, I'm just going to show you what I did. I already have them already punched out and done. Then you just take your piece and that's why you, you should have a small strip. Um, and then you just take it over to your punch and line it up in there. And once you get it lined up the way you like it, then you just punch that out. And there you have your little flower. But I've already have, I've already done three here. And then on another piece of, um, basic white I just took the sentiment that says happy birthday you sweet thing and I just stamped it on there and then I used the one of the dies and we used this set last week from the tasteful labels and I used this die and I die cut it out so I won't do that I just sh showing you what I did so now let's go ahead and take our little flowers and let's um, you can pop them up or use glue dots. I think I'm just going to use glue dots on this today. So I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of each of these flowers. And then I'm going to adhere them to the card. Pop that off. Bring our card back in here. And kind of, um, Find the center if you can, close enough, and put a flower there. Take your next one, put one over on this side, and then the last one over here. And then I do want to pop this up. So let's get the Stampin' Dimensionals. And let's just put, I'm going to put three on the back of my sentiment. And I'm going to pop that up. Right here in the middle of the card. And see, then you have... You can see the little, um, uh, just that faint little outline of the Versa mark in the background. And there you have it. There's that card. Now, I didn't cut out the white insert, but the inside, I would take a piece of uh, five and a quarter by four of basic white and put that on the inside. Uh, but I forgot to cut that piece, so you know how to do that. So I don't need to show you that. So there you go. There is our second card. I just, I love this ombre glitter paper. It's just so pretty. So um, there you have it. I will go ahead and put all the dimensions in the description and the link to the first uh, video that talks about what this, what I'm doing with these Mojoy Monday cards. So there you go. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.